rural, regular with meadows, meadows is singular, from meninges you know another term that is meningitis. Inflammation of meninges and meningitis uh, to uh, diagnose meningitis, uh, the spinal cerebrospinal fluid is obtained through spinal tap. Now the process the procedure is called spinal tap, and that would show the presence of the, the causative organism for meningitis is meningococcus. Yeah, the, bac the name of the bacterium is meningococcus. But anyway, there are three layers of coverings. Number one, dura mater. Number two, I mean, coming from outside to inside. Arachnoid mater and lastly, pia mater. Dura means tough. Outer covering is tough. Pia means delicate. Inner most delicate layer, which is vascularized, richly supplied with blood vessels, and in between, sandwiched between the two, is the arachnoid. But there are spaces. Above dura mater, the space is called epidural space. Between dura mater and arachnoid mater is a subdural space. And between arachnoid mater and pia mater is a subarachnoid space. Below pia mater would be if it is brain, it will be gray matter, gray or white matter, in case of spinal cord. So I tried to explain with this simple, very simple dagger here. If you look, this is a, if it is brain, it's the skull. If it is spinal cord, it's the vertebra, the bone. This is the bone. And then the epidural space, then dura mater, subdural space, arachnoid or arachnoid mater, subarachnoid space, pia mater, then gray or white matter. This is the arrangement. You already know some certain terms like meningitis. You know the term called subdural hematoma. Also there, is, there could be subarachnoid hematoma too. If there is bleeding, there is clot, blood clot. And also you know epidural, like administration of an epidural. When an epidural as an anesthesia is given, it is given there in the epidural space. Okay? Now we'll be looking at a spinal cord as it appears under the microscope. So, I have to... Ah. 